Hey everybody, welcome back to Kluji Tech Time. Today is Freaky Fast Friday, and we are talking about the video cache on your phone. So stick around. All right, guys, let's just jump right into it. We are talking about your DJI drone, and specifically we're talking about DJI Go 4 and the video cache that is found on your phone. So let's get into the settings. So where we go is we initially go right into these uh, settings in the top right corner, which is the three dots. Once we get in there, we want to make sure that we are in the uh, menu item that is at the far bottom, which is, again, the three dots. Once we're in there, we're going to scroll down from the top until we find cache during video shooting. Now, that may or may not be on or off, uh, but you want to turn it on most of the time, I would say, unless you're running out of space on your phone or on your uh, tablet, I would suggest that you turn that on almost all of the time. Now, specifically, I am talking on iOS. The options on Android might be slightly different, but I think they're pretty much the same. So for me, I always want to have the cache set during video shooting. Now, one of the reasons why I like that is that I like to have it recording and storing the video on my device in case I run into problems. So there's a couple of reasons for it. One is if I were to ever have a crash or a flyover or something like that, then I've got a copy of the video on my device, on my phone, on my tablet, if I'm using my tablet, where I can use it to help try and figure out what happened, try and maybe help figure out where it went, and maybe help uh, make a case for DJI under a warranty issue. So I like having another copy of the video on here. Also, maybe I have a very important video and if my SD card gets corrupted, well, maybe I still have some reasonable footage. It's not going to be high definition footage. It's not going to be the best quality, but maybe it still will work. So there's a few reasons why I personally like to have it. Now, I know some people don't like to do that, but uh, those are a couple of the reasons I like to do it. All right. So once you turn that on and you start recording on your uh, aircraft, what it's going to do is it's the live stream that is getting sent back from the aircraft to the remote control and your phone. It's going to start storing that video on this phone right here. That video will not be at the highest quality. It's If you're recording in 4K, that 4K video is going to be on your aircraft, on the SD card, or if you're using a Mavic Air, on the internal storage. That it will not be streaming 4K back to your device. It'll be recording uh, back at probably 720p. So this video that is being streamed back wirelessly from your aircraft to your remote control or your phone is not going to be the highest quality because it's going to be uh, subject to the disruptions of the signal quality. So it's only it can only record the information that it gets from that signal and if you have disruptions, those disruptions are going to disrupt that video. So you can't count on that being high quality. It's going to be much more compressed than what you find on your SD card. It's not going to be near as high quality. So don't count on it. It's a backup. It's a way for you in the field as well to kind of go back and see, oh, did I get the image or get the video that I want without having to go to the actual SD card? So there's multiple different reasons for having it, but don't count on it for the quality. So now that we've turned on our cache, we've talked about what the cache is and why you might want to have it turned on. Now let's go through the individual settings. So the first one is maximum video cache capacity. You can set this so that it won't just use up all your free space on your phone or your tablet. You can set it to use only a small portion of it, like four gigs or eight gigs or 16 gigs, or I just personally set it at auto. I like that personally. I like to use whatever free space is available, uh, whatever that is without having to have the setting. The next setting is, do we want to clear the cache automatically? And I personally like this. I set this since I have it set at auto for the uh, maximum video cache capacity. I also like it to delete any old files as it needs additional space. So I like to set the clear cache automatically personally because then once it fills up the cache, it's going to delete the oldest one and it's not just going to stop in the middle of, a, of your current flight and stop caching it. It will just delete the oldest one to create some more space for your current video. So that's what I personally like is clear cache automatically. And then the uh, next option is record audio with video cache. 
I personally like having the audio recorded there. Sometimes while I'm while I'm flying, I like to maybe make notes. So it's a good way of being able to verbally just say, oh, uh, next time you come to this location, uh, do this, go here, uh, or what, you know, just some verbal notes. Or the other thing that I like is that if I were to have an accident or a flyaway or addy mode or something like that, it's a way of me being able to verbally uh, be able to say what is happening as well. So again, it's for me a way to be able to go back and, and investigate what happened and potentially additional uh, uh, more evidence for if there were a potential warranty claim that were necessary for something that happened. So I personally like the audio on there. But I know that a lot of people choose not to put the audio on there because they don't like to just uh, they don't like to hear themselves cussing <laughs> and and so on when things have gone wrong. So that's really up to you. I personally like it. If I don't want the audio there, it doesn't take up additional much additional space. Audio is much smaller than video, so it really doesn't take a lot of additional space on your device having the audio there. It's there if you want it. And if you don't want the audio, you can just delete it. Now, the uh, last option there is the clear video cache. Uh, that is, uh, gives you a option to delete all the existing files that are in your cache. You can press delete and clear them if you would like. Now, let's go take a look at where these files are actually stored at. So, you might say, okay, well, now I've went for some flights. Where do I get to them at? Now we pop out of the DJI camera screen where we're flying and we go back to the main DJI Go screen. We're gonna go to the editor and then album videos and we will see all of the videos that have been uh, recorded. And you can see mine goes back uh, several weeks uh, with different videos. So this just allows me to now be able to look at this so I may select a uh, multiple videos if I wanted and press the icon in the upper left hand to be able to download them, save them. In the case of uh, iOS, it saves it to your camera roll. And in the case of uh, Android, I'm guessing it's got a similar uh, option to be able to save it to wherever your videos are normally stored at. Uh, but I can also, if I don't want to do that, maybe I just, maybe I'm out in the field and I want to take a look and I want to see, okay, well, did I did I really capture what I what I wanted? Did, you know, maybe I just saw something real quick in the flight, and I want to go back and be able to kind of review what happened. So I can just go in and I can I can review it and uh, hear what's going on and so on. So uh, I I personally find uh, the cache files to be very useful for multiple reasons. Luckily, I haven't had to use it in terms of a crash or. Uh, warranty claim or something like that. But I do know that a lot of people have used it in, in case of uh, problems. So one last tip for Freaky Fast Friday is I also like to do a screen record of my flights on my device so that I capture all of the telemetry information and all of that. That gives me also a good uh, recollection of the flight tells me exactly what was going on and so on. And that's useful for multiple reasons. Again, just for me being able to go back and review the flight, but it's, and, and see all the information, the telemetry information, as well as what the drone was seeing. But it also gives me a record of the flight so that again, if I have to do a warranty claim or I have to DJI care refresh or anything like that, allows me to go back and have a record of that. So anyways, thanks for joining us for Freaky Fast Friday. Look for these again coming in in the future hope you guys enjoyed this hope it was useful for you and i hope to see you again on future videos hit that subscribe button like leave me comments what else would you like to see in freaky fast friday and i hope you're having a great day we will see you later on the next one ciao